Hi, Nona Grace. How are you today? Hi. I'm doing good, thank you. You know, I heard that you were going to do a really long video today. Yes, it is a very long video. I had requests today. Well, I hope they enjoy it. Well, let me tell them in the library. I will finish this, okay? Okay, I'll let you talk. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. And today was a very busy day. Oh, where am I from? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I am from... I got a hair there. <laughs> or it's my glasses. Something. I'm from Western <laughs> New York. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say for a moment. Yes, I'm from Western New York. Today was a busy day. I um, was spent a lot of time with the chickens. But before I get to the chickens, I want to show you. Diane Thurlman, one, she had written in her suggestion that maybe I could put a hat on the little boy that I was making. And I thought, what a great idea because... He's got a hat on. This is what he looks like. If I take it off, he's got a bald head. <laughs> but he's got a hat on. And I decided I'm not going to put any mouths on him. They have just their eyes. And here's the little girl that had no face. And I put eyes on her. She looks adorable. So now I have my children. And it would be the tallest. This one, this one would be, this one would be Jessica. And Jessica, actually, whoa, I'm losing them. Let me put my pen in the notebook. This is Jessica. This would be Laura. This would be Emily. And the oldest of them all would be Michael. So it would go, that's how they would go. Michael, Jessica, Laura, and Emily. And they're adorable. The blonde is in the other room. And I says, well, and Jim goes, well, that could be one of our foster children. We had a lot of blondes, when you think about it. Got to the point where I'd ask for dark-haired children because they were much nicer. <laughs> so or I would just ask what color is their hair, and if they were dark, that's when I would take them. Okay, so Diane was asked, had mentioned that uh, putting a hat on him. And that works, Diane. Thank you so much. And I'm glad she mentioned, I read her comment before I got very far because I um, made the hat. I'm not very good at making hats, but it's supposed to have a little brim on it. And I can put them up a little closer so you can kind of see. Is his hat straight? No. Maybe not really. There. No, that's straighter. Okay. That's the little boy. And I gave him kind of braids, sort of. They're a little bit like braids. Not really, but just short hair in the back. Okay, and um, I'm going to put a video in here because Jane, had, Jane Patrick had asked about the chickens. So I'm going to put a lot. There's going to be a lot of video of the chickens in here. So, And if you noticed in the beginning of this video... <laughs> I tried something new. I've been wanting to do that for a long time when Blue Bike and Doyle did it and then Bob did it. And I'm thinking, gosh, I got to be able to do this. So I thought, well, I will try. But you know, it's not that easy. And also, um, Rusty had done it. He does it where he actually showed his body laying down in the other body, rising from that body. I don't know how he did that, but man, that was good too. And he got up and was doing whatever, like he was, and he was still sleeping. So it's like um, magic. So, but Jane wanted to see the chicken, so that's going in right here, and you're going to see that in a little more. So we'll put that in right here. I bring little lady out every day. And every day she wants to walk over to this one area. I don't know if she'll go over there now. I just took her out three times. But notice how nice she's walking. She's got determination. She's going. 
she wants to go into this little skinny area. I put a couple of pots there so she can't go all the way. And there's Mr. Brown. Hello, Mr. Brown. I squat down and he comes over to me. But she goes over in this little corner. This deck used to be where our swimming pool was, so this is why it's got a funny shape here. But I put the pot there to keep her from going in that corner because she'll go in that far corner and I can't get her out very easy. But she wants to be over here. And why you want to be right there, I don't know. But she feels safe, apparently, between the, the deck and the fence. And there's Mr. Brown. She just stepped up onto the pot and onto the deck. Good job there, little lady. Apparently you need that half step to get yourself up there. Where are you gonna go? Where are you heading? Oh, she just pooped on the deck. Nice. You can't get out from here. This is a blocked area. This is where the house corner and everything is. One wing kinda flops. Where are you gonna go, huh? What you gonna do? Where are you going? You looking for a corner to hide? Notice how she puts her foot one in front of the other like, like she's on the catwalk. <laughs> You're too funny, Mr. Brown. You're so white. Who would think that you took a bath with dirt? You look so white. Yes, you do. The three are Dorothy's and one is Emma's. And they're so cute. Hello, Emma. Oh, and Dorothy's up there. Hello, Dorothy. Eating some of the pears that I gave them. And these are at the drinking fountain. Getting a drink. And there's Silver. She's looking at little lady. I've got her behind the baby gate so that they can see her. Is everybody coming in to see? Oh, and there's Brownie was in the bedding that I just made for Emma and her babies. Are you curious what she's doing? Are you standing like a statue? Here to move? I don't know. You wonder. What goes oh, there's another one on the other side. And there's the rooster. He's starting to get his tail feathers back. He had lost his beautiful plumage. And there's Rosie. 
the Asmani, or is that the other one? That one's got a little red on it, so that one's not her. That's not Rosie. That's the other one. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Are you checking this out up above? Oh, look at their silver. She says, I think I'll check up above, too. Oh. What are you doing, Doris, um, Emma? Dorothy just jumped down. Everybody's in here, which is unusual. Usually they all go out when I come in. There's Blackie and her babies. There's Blackie. Oh, there goes Brownie. It's like Grand Central Station in here. Hello there, little ones. They're getting, they're a week older than Mr. Brown. And I think there's two roosters in that group. I'm not sure, maybe one rooster. Maybe the brown one is, or gray one is the rooster. The other one looks like a rooster, too. Her tail goes. His tail goes. I'm not sure about the other one. That one might be a hen. Let's hope there's at least one hen in this group. Seems like they do more roosters than hens. Okay. And now they're all underneath the little... This was the chicken tractor. And they're underneath there. Jane wanted to see the chickens today. And so I'm trying to get them. Little by little, that's the light brown one. She's not very nice either. Along with my buff. The buff is the nicer ones. Are you two staring at each other? Hmm. I guess I will walk away. And the last one stands alone because the chicken keeps getting in Jim's gonna make it so that the chicken cannot get into this one area he's going to be putting a board in plus there's a little bit of a gap below that needs to be fixed so that the chicken can't go underneath the deck so that's what he's trying to do right now Is that too tall, or you just need to no, raise it? Once it's in there, right? It should fit. Ah. What we do for the chickens. Ay, yeah, yeah. That's to keep her from going in that little corner and trying to go underneath the deck. Yeah. Very good. There it is. She won't be getting under there. And if she can hop as high as that board, we're doing good. Those I would like cut, yes. Where? Well, to, we can go to the corner, like, as if it was like a circle still. Me too. Yeah, this is where the, this used to be a circle here, but because we had to dig up and put a gas line in, he flipped the boards because they were better on this other end than the other end that we had. And this way, this will be, get the jagged edges gone again. Good. This way, if she gets in there, I can at least get her out. Pretty boy crowed, and so it's time to get them their scratch. Come on, everybody. Come on, Dorothy. You and your babies need to come in. This is probably the easiest for me to catch all of them so that Jane can see the chickens. Okay. Here, chick, 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 chick. Whoa. There they all are. Shut the gate. Whoops, the rooster chasing everybody. 
They're all hoggish when it comes to the scratch. But this is the hens. There they are. And this is one that's like the one in the house. One of the younger ones, the teenager, she went in, the one that's like, the one that's like little lady, she went inside, because she says, I'm still on the lower end of that ladder and I can't eat yet because they chased me away. And there's another one that's related to, to a little lady, she was born at the same time. There's Rosie. I'm pretty sure that's Rosie. There's another one here that's like her, but where is she? There they are. They're inside. They, they're too young to be eating with the rest of them, and so they have to come in here. Chick, chick, chick. There you go, little lady. There you go. Voon, my daughter called. This is for you, Voon. My daughter called and wanted to know how I made that chicken with the meatballs soup. And um, so I decided I might as well make it too. So, But I'm making it a little different. I don't have any meatballs, so I'm putting hamburger in it. And I put some sausage in it. And now I'm going to put some hot peppers in it. These are from my garden. Look how big they are. They're, this is only a fraction of what we have. We have probably a hundred or so out there and um, I will have to start canning or something. I usually like to do the red ones and the canning. I like to do them with olive oil, but we'll see. I haven't done that in so long. I have jars and I have rings. I have the old fashioned jars. I have this kind. I'll show you. But this one had this one had baking grease in it so it's dirty. But I have this type of jar. I have these kind. I don't have the other kind with the metal caps. I have only this kind. And this is a tiny one. To, I mean, we put the baking grease in there. As you can see, I've used it all up. It just needs some more baking cooked so I can have some baking grease in it. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of this video. It was rather long, and Jane, I don't worry that it's long. It's just that I don't like when they put the advertisements in there. And I was, Mary was has been mentioning that she was wanting to get her 1,000 hours because she wants to be monetized. Subscribers. Or subscribers, I mean, that's right, not hours. Oh, good heavens, that would be awful. Well, no, it wouldn't. Four thousand hours because we have is, to, is a lot less. Near enough. Because we have to have 4,000 watch hours in order to be monetized. And when you do get monetized, now I was monetized, did I say April? April. April 16. And I haven't seen anything yet. So it takes it a very long time. Maybe in April again of next year I might see something. Maybe. Never know. But the thing that I worry about with the long ones is they put all these advertisements in there. And I would really rather they were just at the beginning of the video and at the end. But if you Chromecast me, you'll find that it goes right through usually and you aren't interrupted. So, I don't know if YouTube likes that or not, but that's my suggestion. So, have I got to say goodbye. <laughs> so, have a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.